Agib Sawiris of Wind Telecom joins us. Mr. Sawiris, good to have you on the program. So let me start by getting your thoughts, your reaction on these latest protests, yet more violence in your country. Just how concerned are you about the political and indeed economic future of Egypt? Uh, I am concerned, you know, but you need to go back to last Friday. The demonstration actually started with the Islamic Brotherhood uh, demonstrating their power in front of the military. They went into uh, a million uh, demonstration in Tahrir Square trying to challenge the uh, decision by the military and the civil forces in Egypt to ensure the civil nature of Egypt that we do not want a religious state. So in defiance to that uh, request, and there is a... Um, uh, they went down to the, the, to the square, around a million or more, and unfortunately some of the liberal uh, revolution uh, uh, young people who uh, joined them and decided not to leave the square after the Islamists mm -hmm. left the square Friday night uh, because they were demanding uh, the change of government and uh, 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 they were protesting also against the military. So by, by the evening when the... Uh, police and the military force tried to drive them out of the square. We had these uh, war zone symptoms that you have seen. So the situation is really uh, quite uh, worrying, and we yeah. are a week away from our uh, elections, so we don't know really what's going to happen. You know. uh, but as far as we know, Mrs. Sawiris, those elections will go ahead as planned, won't they? They will go ahead as planned. Uh, we, we are not worried because, you know, there is, we are torn between two desires. A desire to go back to normality, form a strong government that would lead Egypt and get us out of this turmoil, and uh, the fact that uh, the Islamic uh, Muslim Brotherhood uh, uh, bullying uh, all uh, democratic forces and liberal forces by trying to enforce their presence regardless of uh, the, the, the ballots. And also, as you know, we had had very little time as liberal parties to get organized. Yeah. So uh, it's a difficult situation. It's a very difficult situation, Mr. Sawiris. And I suppose one of the main concerns for investors right now when they look at your country is how how long and protracted this transition has been from the Mubarak regime to the new government? It, is, it has taken too much time. It's, it's because also we went through the wrong way. The right thing to do would have been to write a new constitution, elect a committee that would have written the new constitution, made sure Egypt remains as a civil state, not a religious state, and then had elections for the presidency, so we would have had a strong president. Uh, and then come at the end with the legislative uh, elections of the parties, you know. Uh, unfortunately, we did not go that route. Tunisia went that route. That's why they're done with their process ahead of us. And, mm. uh, and that's why we are in this mess today, you know. Uh, and Mr. Sawiris, these people, I mean, the tens of thousands of protesters that are pouring into Tahrir Square now, they want a quicker transfer to civilian rule. Is that likely to happen? No, it's not likely to happen because also these demonstrators are not saying how this should be done. We, we uh, as sensible political forces, we believe this should be done through the election, you know. I mean, mm. we would have preferred, or, or through the writing of the Constitution. The problem is that the protesters today are not giving us a route or a clear route, you know. And the second mm. problem, too, is that they joined these Islamists in a demonstration which was clearly designed to challenge the civil nature of the of the yeah. state. So that's why many of the political parties did not join these demonstrators, and that's why also their numbers are not that high. Uh, Mr. Sawiris, but th th there are legitimate concerns about the role of the military in your country right now. And I I'm wondering about the economic interests that they have to protect military-run companies, which really span across a range of businesses. To what extent are those business and economic interests complicating the political situation when it comes to the role of the military? No, I don't think that this is their main concern. I mean, their main concern is that they 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 are remain as a as a uh, as a power in the country that it has the right to decide on the fate of Egypt. Uh, and we have amended the the, the document uh, that has been presented uh, uh, as a pre-document for the constitution write-up uh, to uh, accommodate that. You know, uh, I don't think they want to stay in power like all these fears. You know, I think the only concern is they want to make sure that. They uh, give the power to uh, democratically elected uh, uh, parties and, and, and get done with it, you know. I am not really worried about their ambitions to stay in power, you know. But the problem also is that they went, uh, all the sequence of events were the wrong uh, events, and therefore we are in this mess today. And 
the Islamists believe they are already as if the elections have been taking place and they won already. So that's why we are in this uh, dilemma right now. All right, Mr. Nagib Sawir is chairman of Wind Telecommunication. Thank you very much for joining us from Cairo.